This is rebuilding a Stuart Models Twin Launch Model Steam Engine Part 8, working on the baseboard and a little painting. The baseboard with this engine is quite well made, but it was a little bit on the rough side. But as it is specifically shaped to fit this engine, I didn't throw it away, instead I'm going to clad it with some mahogany planking. So the job starts on my ancient bandsaw and I'm cutting the planking. And it's worth remembering that the second two pieces of planking need to be as wide as the base plus twice the width of the original planking. If you cut all the pieces of planking to the dimensions of the base you will have a problem at the corners. So once the planks have been cut it's time to use some super glue or cyanoacrylate adhesive to stick the new planks to the side of the old base. As you can see from this clip I'm applying a very generous amount of cyanoacrylate adhesive to the side of the old baseboard and then I spread it on the baseboard using the plank. To ensure that you get a really strong bond both surfaces need to be thoroughly covered in the adhesive. I stuck a mahogany plank on each side of the baseboard and this clip shows the glue drying. And for a bit of excitement it's painting time. Before I actually painted this I used some cellulose thinners or lacquer thinners as it's called in the USA to completely degrease the old paint and I gave it a very light rub down. I didn't show this on the video because I forgot to press record. I do that now and again. Even though I generally make videos of the steam engine work that I do, primarily I'm doing the job. I don't stage any of this, this is done in real time. And sometimes it's very difficult because I'm a cameraman as well. Most of the time I manage to get the shots in focus and sometimes I get some beautiful shots in beautiful focus and then forget to press the record button. Then other times my great big hands get in the way. I generally video from the right hand side which is a bit wrong because I'm right handed. But the viewfinder is on the left hand side of the camera so for video from the other side I can't see what I'm doing because a lot of the time I'm doing the job on the bench and watching the image on the viewfinder on the camera. And the only time I don't really do that is if I'm doing a really dangerous operation like using a scalpel and also when I'm using the lathe or milling machine I'm generally watching what I'm doing. As much as I like making these videos I would really prefer to keep most of my fingers intact. And when I think about it, it's a bit of a nightmare. What if, by watching the viewfinder, I accidentally removed all my fingers on both hands in one fell swoop? That would be a disaster. How would I pick them up to take the bits to the hospital to have them sewn back on? You see, when you work alone in a workshop, you have to think about these things. I think for the rest of this painting sequence I will play some of my soothing music just while I think about picking body parts off the floor. Welcome. I'm so glad you could come with me to Count Dracula's monster party. Everyone who is, well, rather strange will be there, including you. So let's boogie on down, shall we? <laughs> And that's enough of that, it's time to get back to making the base look more attractive. The cyanoacrylate adhesive has now set and two of the mahogany planks are now firmly stuck to the base. And it's now time to stick on the other two. And yes, these are just a bit longer than they need to be and that is intentional because I'm going to sand them down and all will be revealed very shortly. Once the adhesive had thoroughly set, I sanded down the overlapping part of the two planks. Not to mention the overlapping parts on the top and bottom of the base and then it's on to the next step. And the next step is sticking some wider planks onto the top of the baseboard. I'll fly through this part because it's just the same as sticking the edge planks on except they're on the top. I'm using cyanoacrylate adhesive as before and it's just a general glue-a-thon. That's a bit like a marathon with glue. Health and safety warning this time not about losing body parts but when you're using cyanoacrylate adhesive you do need to use it in a well ventilated area because it gives off some fairly nasty fumes and you should really wear gloves because you will stick your fingers to the wood now and again but I prefer to live life on the edge. The mahogany planks were all held to the baseboard temporarily with spring clamps but once the adhesive had finally set I removed all the clamps and started the sanding process. 
starting first of all with some coarse sandpaper and following up with some wet or dry fine sandpaper. When making baseboards for model steam engines, I don't like them to be really over varnished. I'm using some varnish as you can see here, but I apply it with a cloth and I wipe it on and wipe it off. That way it seals the wood, but it doesn't look like it's been painted with a tar brush. I would probably give this a couple of coats because it needs to be waterproofed as generally small steam engines emit water from every orifice and worse than that they also emit oil so the combination of oil and water would really make a mess of a new baseboard unless it was waterproofed but I still prefer to apply the varnish with a cloth it's a little bit like French polishing you get a really good finish and you build it up over a period sanding between coats if I put it on with a brush I find that I get the varnish too thick, but what I am going to do is paint the centre section with a brush, because this recessed area is the one that's going to collect most of the oil and water. Someone's put a hole in the bottom, which is probably a good idea. It will allow the oil and water to drip out onto the table. 